President Mohamed Buhari today hinted that a newly created Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development would oversee the administration's special intervention program. The President therefore directed the release of 600 billion naira for 2019 capital projects. Buhari, who said this in his broadcast to the nation to mark the country's 59th independence anniversary, also stated that he had directed the release of 600 billion naira for capital project implementation from, from the 2019 budget in the next three months. The medium term development plan charted the trajectory for our economy to exit from recession and return to the path of sustainable, diversified, and inclusive growth for Nigerians. Pursuant to these reforms, the economy has recovered and we have had nine successive quarters of growth since our exit from recession. The exchange rate in the last three years has remained stable, with robust reserves of 42.5 billion United States dollars up from 23 billion United States dollars in October 2016. Learning from the mistakes of the past, this administration is committed to responsibly managing our oil wealth endowments. We will continue to prudently save our oil income and invest more in the non-oil job creating sectors. The Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning has been directed to release 600 billion Naira for capital expenditure in the next three months. Through the road infrastructure tax credit scheme, which I initiated in January this year, we are giving incentives to private sector inflow of over 205 billion naira in 19 Nigerian roads and bridges of 794.4 kilometers in 11 states of the Federation. We will also continue our fight against illegal bunkering of crude oil and the smuggling of refined petroleum products across our borders, including the diligent prosecution and conviction of offenders found guilty of these acts. I am pleased with the improved interagency collaboration between the Ministry of Power and the regulators in the banking and power sectors to ensure that electricity sales, billings, and collections are automated and become cashless. These initiatives are important to ensure that the technical and collection losses in the sector are substantially reduced. I remain confident that Nigerians will have affordable and uninterrupted electricity supply in the not too distant future. Our population growth rate remains among the highest in the world, presenting both challenges as well as opportunities. It is our collective responsibility to ensure that we provide adequate resources to meet the basic needs of our teeming youth. I will also call upon all Nigerians from every walk of life to combat corruption at every time by choosing to question and confront corrupt practices, by reporting and ethical practices or through whistleblowing. Together, we can overcome corruption and we will no longer be a country defined by corruption. Let me reiterate my call for unity across our dear nation. Nigeria will emerge from our present challenges stronger and more resilient than ever. But only if all of us join hands to entrench good governance, foster inclusive economic development, and defend and protect our nation from all those who would wish us ill. I thank you all. I thank you most sincerely. 
and wish you a happy independence anniversary. <laughs>